course, what's a project without a uh, without having a visit to Home Depot? All right, I think we found the right spot. All right, here we are. Okay, thank you. Take a look at what we're gonna get. So anyway, I got this one. It's gonna be a little bit easier, I hope. And they have a whole new system. So anyway, the other thing I learned at Home Depot is they don't make these anymore. This is done. There's no more half inch. It's all three eighths or some weird smaller size. So I've got connectors and I'm hoping that that will work. And yeah, forget about this. Now this was, I had these on uh, a bathroom faucet, but apparently not only kitchen faucets, they don't do that. So anyway, we're gonna find out and see if I can do it. That's for you, mom. All right, we're opening her up. Directions, probably won't need those. So this is the new system, look at this. It's ridiculous, huh? So I'm hoping that these will, will reach to the valves, but I don't know they, if they will. So if they don't, I bought these two connectors. Mm. All right, so anyway, this is the way it hooks up onto the... Uh... So anyway, so you gotta feed all this junk down through your hole, and then this is gonna slide up, and that's gonna lock it in. We're gonna do that right now. I gotta feed these down through the... I see you already cleaned up, Mom. Nice. Through this hole here. These are gonna go all the way down in there. And this baby's gonna set right in there like that. This here is the counterweight for um, wow. our uh, pull down, and I gotta hook that on to once I plug it in. Because they've got these new lines, and I think, yep, I think I might be good with it. Look, they'll reach over there. So what I've got to do now is I've got to unhook these old lines, and I'm gonna put those on. I'm gonna have to use some plumber's tape to do that. So we're gonna do that next. This top one I gotta take off, and this one here I gotta take off, and then we're gonna hook these these ones on there. We just gotta make sure we get the hot on the hot and the cold on the cold. So this doesn't even tell me which is which. <laughs> but usually you do hot on the left and cold on the right. So anyway, we're gonna go get on that. Just say, hey. Lefty Lucy takes it off. That way. So it should not, it should just turn for me. I mean, if there was water, they would be coming out the end of the hose. So I know we're cool in that. It's interesting though, there's no plumber's tape on this side. I wonder why they didn't put any on there. That's weird. All right, so this is, so look, so they did a double, double hose there. They needed it. All right, so that's our one. Now we gotta get this one over here, right here. As you can see, doing this stuff under a sink, it's not the most funnest thing in the world because it's very tight. You can't get, you know, you can't get your your equipment in here. You can't see what you're doing. So you've got to, you know, work with what you got. And when you work with old stuff, oh my God, it's just a nightmare. All right, it should be loose now. Of course, now I got this stuck in here. I can't get it out. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let me see if I can twist it. Need more light. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Why is this so tight? All right, so we got those off, and now we just gotta connect our uh, our lines to it. So these right here, we're gonna connect on there, and we got two of them, one for each one for each thing. So we get the plumber's tape on. Before you get all excited, you gotta get this thing on. So I'm gonna read some directions real quick. So I wanna get all of these lines. This has to go up, so these all have to go through there like that. All right, so you gotta make sure you get that on there. And then I'm gonna slide it all the way up, up here. And then I gotta make sure I get this stub line in too. So it's gotta go all the way up there. All right, now I got it a little bit pushed on. Now I gotta crawl in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, roll her up tight. All right, so anyway, <laughs> no matter what, man, it's always gonna be something. These things are not easy. So here we are. I'm gonna push this all the way up there. All right, see if you can see it. 
First, I'm going to pull this down a little bit. And then, we're going to push this up all the way up so it's tight. Then I'm going to turn it clockwise. Apparently, I'm supposed to turn it clockwise. Push it all the way up and then turn it clockwise. Push that up there and then turn it clockwise. Oh, here we go. All right, it's tightening now. All right, let me go up, up, up there and see if that's... If that worked. It's not too stable. I gotta make it tighter. I go back down there. From underneath the sink, secure the faucet assembly to the sink with the fast mount. Push the fast mount system B over the threads until it stops against the bottom of the sink. Then hand turn clockwise to tighten. All right, so let's take a look at this. <laughs> All right, so it still doesn't feel super stable. I'm gonna try to tighten a little bit more. Put the channel locks on this bad boy. Cause I want it tight. So we gotta just do like a quarter inch at a time. That seems to get it tighter. Let me check upstairs. Wow. Oh, that's much more stable. All right, I think we did a good job in that one. The trick is to make sure that you get the hot water on the hot water, the cold water on the cold water. All right, so I got it. It's on there. You know, you just gotta tighten them down. And you wanna get it pretty tight because you don't want it leaking. You don't want to break it either. <laughs> right, I think that might be what we want it. That's why plumbers get paid good money. Anyway, I'm gonna wrench the hell out of that. I'm not gonna show you. So I gotta slide those directly on to the very sides of this. That's how it locks in. Look inside there, you see those little that little thing there? They kind of slide over that and that locks it in. So this is gonna be the water supply for the pull down which is up here, but also I got to put this counterbalance on it. So it looks like it's going to be right about here is where we want it. So I'm going to hold my hand here, right there. I'm going to get my weight and I want to get it right on there. So I'm going to smush this on there. Pull this, the counterweight pulls it back up. All right, so now we got our counterweight on there. It's inside this little sheath, and uh, now we've got to hook this up. So this is gonna slide right on there. That's the counterweight right there. And I gotta make sure that these things are right on the side. It'll make a snapping noise. Now that's it, that's hooked. So now we just gotta see if it works, if everything works. We're hooked there, counterweight's on. Counterweight's on, water supply on, and I think we're just about ready to test it. Are you ready? So I cut that. Now we'll just slide it through here. I gotta get that thing off of there. And it's right here. That piece we don't need anymore. Go in here. All right, so I got this pretty tight. It's setting in there good. Now we gotta turn the water on. All right, that one's on. Turn this one on. That was ready to go. All right, so those waters are on now. I don't see any leakage. I don't feel anything. Now we just gotta see if it comes out of the spigot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's check it out. All right, you guys ready? Maiden voyage. Leaking. 
and a little adjustment had to tighten this, and I think we're good. The water's coming out. Cha ching All right, we did it. We got it done. You got a couple different things you can do. Squirt them in there. That looks like it's good. Doesn't seem to be any water coming out of it. Come in there. Right now the clear question is, is it leaking under here? Oh, no. Let's take a look. I just want to check this one here. Nothing. Good. Let's check over here on the valves. Nothing. Nothing. No water down there. What do you think? Looking good. There we go. Ah. New sink. Bay. Showing on here. That's the way it looks. And uh, anyway, that's what it looks like once it's installed properly by somebody who does not know what he's doing. A professional now. You got to get a professional person like me who has no idea what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But we got it on, man. And it works great. And everything looks good down here. I don't see any water leaking. And now we can put everything back. Oh, this is junk. Um, <laughs> what? This little thing. Grandma, what do you think? I love it. I think I think it's really cool. Okay, cool. Bye. Video, please subscribe to my videos with Grandma and her faucets. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing, but we'll do it anyway.